Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Yes, again, I've got a lot of good stuff to show y'all this week. Right now we're going to make stewed pota uh, tomatoes. And I put up tomatoes out of the garden this year. I've still got three quarts left. That's all I have left. Um, so we're going to use these and this is going to be delicious. So I'm going to let y'all uh, watch me right quick. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut up an onion and um, I found some pepper in the freezer. I don't have a bell pepper left. I've been cooking a lot of stuff and so I don't have a whole lot. I don't have any bell pepper left. So luckily I found some in the uh, freezer that were frozen. And so I threw them in there. We're going to use those. But first we're going to chop up a little bit of onion to throw in our stewed tomatoes. Wanted to fall apart on me. All right. Lord, can't think of what I'm doing. Anyway, so we're going to chop up this onion and start these tomatoes. I went ahead and made some tomato, I mean some uh, breadcrumbs. I just had some bread left, so I stuck it in the refrigerator so it would last, last longer because it's hard to get bread right now. And, um, but I had some that was about to go out of date. So, of course, I'm using that for this tonight because you have to take loaf bread. I use three loaves. Not loaves. Three slices of loaf bread. Lord, I'm not thinking good. Y'all, it's my chemo brain. I'm not crazy. I just, some days, I, I just don't do well when I'm talking. Anyway, I cut up three loaves of bread. I sliced it and I toasted it in my air fryer. And when we get these stewed tomatoes ready, we're going to serve them over it. And these are making me cry. All right, that's good for this. And I told y'all, and I went and hit them, that my uh, kids have lost my scraper. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this over here for y'all. I'm making Hoppin' John tonight. It's on the stove already. I am going to show y'all that recipe, but I'm going to do it on a different video. I'm going to do a good video of Hoppin' John. But I'll let y'all see how it's looking. It's really time to turn it off. Because I like for it to have some juice in it to serve over the uh, rice. So I'm going to take this bay leaf out. Well, I'll wait because I'm doing this in a different video and I don't want to mess it up. So we'll just put a lid on it. How's that? Turn it off. But y'all got to see it, didn't you? So here we go with the stewed tomatoes. This is going to be in our third recipe book. Uh, and I am in the process of making that recipe book right now. So y'all are just, um, it won't be long and y'all will be able to, I'm going to pull y'all down a little bit. Y'all will be able to see it. Sorry, y'all. So, I think I'm going to use butter because I think that'd be better in my stewed tomatoes than just uh, regular oil. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw my, uh, here's my pepper. Let me get, grab my onion while that butter melts. Not having my scrapers driving me nuts, though. All right. Y'all can't see good, can you? Get y'all up a little closer. Get a little closer. All right. Stew tomatoes. What we're making tonight. Onion, the pepper that I found in the freezer. I didn't have a whole lot, but we're going to have. Not everybody can 
Look, right now, when you can't get to the store and you don't have something, just because you don't have something don't mean you can't make a recipe. Y'all go ahead and make it. You can leave some stuff out or substitute something for it. Looking good already. So we're sizzling that. Here's our canned tomatoes. I'm going to show y'all this. This is in my new cookbook. This is a page that I, and I haven't edited everything yet. But you can see I got corn pudding on the top for that page. But it, this is our stewed tomatoes. So you're going to use a 28 ounce can of whole tomatoes or three or four fresh tomatoes. Or like me, I'm using my can from last summer. Okay. You're going to use a medium onion, a cup of chicken or beef broth. Two teaspoons of sugar, three tablespoons of bell pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, two, two slices of bread cubed and toasted, or three. I'm using three. So, um, we're going to go ahead and mix up some, while we're waiting on this, let's mix up some beef bouillon real quick. I'm going to run some water over here. And we're going to get it out of the pantry. Here's my pantry shelf. And I've got beef in here, and I've got chicken. So we're going to grab the beef. The one with the cow. If you get to the grocery store, make sure you get some bullion. Because you may not even get meat. At least you'll have some beef flavor. And some things. Let me show you something else I did today. Somebody told me that when I take uh, the ends off of green onions to put them in some water and let them sprout, you can also put them in dirt. And so that's what I'm doing. I listen to y'all. Y'all know I got tomatoes sprouting over here already. All right, so here's a cup of really, really hot water, okay? Looks good already. Smells good, too. So we're going to make this into beef uh, stock right quick. I'm just going to throw some in there and mix it up. It's going to be that simple. Dimple, dimple. Salt and pepper. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. And a half teaspoon of salt. Now, my when I put my tomatoes up, I put a little salt and pepper down in the bottom of the jar. And then I poured my hot tomatoes into the jar. That video is on YouTube if you want to see me putting up. I don't know if I ever got that one on. As a matter of fact, I think I got sick or something. And then I never got it on there. I don't know if it's on there or not. Here, let me get some. To open this. Oh, come on. I'll just hit it like Mama always did. A lot of people go, don't do that. But look how it works. You're not really supposed to reuse, reuse it anyway. Or we never did when I was growing up. All right. So these are my tomatoes. And I'll scoop one out so y'all can see how pretty they look. These were actually the Roma tomatoes. We planted Roma tomatoes last year. And oh my gosh, they made so many tomatoes. 
And we're going to put all these in here. As I make a mess. Splattering it. But that's alright. Mmm, it smells so good when they're fresh out of a jar. Woo! Alright, I'm going to turn it up. And we're going to get that to boiling. And then I'm going to show y'all. We also got to put a little sugar in it. So we got our onion. We got our bouillon. We, we just need a couple of teaspoons of sugar in there. And Lord, my sugar dish is empty. And then I'll show y'all what else I'm cooking. Because I'm cooking a bunch. This is a half teaspoon, so it's going to take four of them. So that's just two teaspoons of sugar, okay? And I didn't want to put three. A lot of people use a whole tablespoon or so. And I don't like it to be too sweet, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to cook this on high until a lot of that juice is out of there. And mine will have to uh, cook for a little while um, because they were already in juice. I guess I probably could have done without the juice, but I think they'll be good after they simmer for a little bit. We've got them on a high temperature. And if we put a lid on them, they're even going to get to boiling quicker. Let me show you all what we got going in the oven. I'll pull it out and let y'all see, but I'm not taking it out yet. This is my, it's a smoked chicken. My, my brown sugar is still in mounds on it. Let me rub it a little bit. It's been in here for about 40 minutes. You need to cook it at least an hour. That recipe is coming up this week. It's called brown sugar baked chicken. And our Hoppin' John is going to be served over rice. So we got that coming up this week. And I've got my rice made over here in a rice cooker. I'll show y'all my rice that we've got going. Yes, I used a rice cooker. It's so simple. You just y'all I've been relaxing, playing games on my phone while my chicken bakes in the oven and my peas in or and my rice is done. See it's ready. So that's ready for my Hoppin' John. Now, I also made some breadcrumbs out of that wheat bread I was telling you about in the air fryer. I chopped them up with a bread knife, put them in here on uh, 350 degrees for five minutes. That's what we're going to serve our tomatoes with, okay? So you want to put bread in your tomatoes. Looks like they're already getting hot. Oh yeah. Don't you just love a lid? It took me years to figure that out when I was a young girl cooking. I'm not kidding, it did. It took me years to figure out that if I would just put a lid on something, it sure would come to a boil quicker. So if you're in a hurry cooking supper and you want your cream potatoes to hurry up and get done or whatever it is you're making, put a lid on them. It's not good for a cooking show because y'all can't see. But it's good for y'all at home. Now, in my video earlier today, I did potato soup. I'm going to be on here a lot more often. Here, let me just talk to y'all a second. Why not? I'm trying to get a view that's halfway decent in my kitchen. And really and truly, my kitchen's a mess. And I don't even care. I mean... Not that, not saying I don't care about y'all, I'm just saying, I'm not, because I'm going to be cooking so much since we're stuck in the house, and I'm going to be on here a lot, um, I'm not going to foo-foo up my kitchen every time. You know what I'm saying? Chris likes to, but he's gone, so I can do what I want. He went to walk. He has to do his exercises every day. So when he's gone, I get some time to myself.
myself and um, like I said I put that chicken in the oven started those beans toasted this bread and went and laid down uh, and relaxed for a while so just because you're cooking don't mean it takes a lot of effort I want to encourage you to get up and make something to eat don't sit around and eat popcorn and candy and chips and cereal okay y'all need your nutrition right now we all need our nutrition uh, so that our bodies will be stronger because eventually we'll probably get this virus and we need to be strong for it okay so try your best to clean out that pantry and clean out that freezer and make you a menu and use up what you have you have a lot at home we all do if we just pull it out and use it okay so tonight this is what we're making stewed tomatoes it's going to take them a few minutes to cook down so i guess what i'm going to do is um I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to simmer it about four more minutes, if you'll just bear with me. And then, um, we will, I'll serve a little bit of this over the breadcrumbs and show you how to eat it. How's that? And until then, I will make me some tea and just chat with y'all for a minute. How's that? So, we'll make us a little place over here. So that I can taste this in a minute. And I'm going to show you how to serve it. Now, a lot of people would just put the bread in the tomatoes. But I'm going to show you what I want to do. I would rather serve it in the bowl. And then scoop the tomatoes over the bread. Okay, that's how I want to eat it. Y'all can eat it however you want. So put it about a whole a uh, slice worth of bread in the bottom of your bowl that you're going to eat it out of. And then you're going to take those tomatoes and scoop them out on top of this. And that's how you eat them. And let's go ahead and make some tea while we're waiting on this to boil down just a little bit. Get those flavors in them. I don't know if I showed y'all this or not, but I'm going to show y'all because I'm crazy and that's just how I am. The other day, I love Turvis glasses. Love them. They do not, uh, they do not open up and get foggy and yucky on the inside like the cheaper ones do. And they're worth their money. But I went to Belt the other day and got Turvis glasses for like three and four dollars, four and five dollars. I think this size was four, three ninety nine. And this size was $4.99, and they all have this written on them, Best Man. And I'm like, I don't care what they say. I'm getting me some glasses. Y'all, you might find you might run out of ice this week if you got a bunch of teenagers and kids at home with these newfangled refrigerators, they don't make enough ice hardly to serve anybody in. Um, I think somebody said they put cheese on top of their tomatoes. I think I just said that. Well, what about that? People like cheese and onion and everything, don't they? Ooh, that looks good already. It really does. So, I'm going to scoop some out. It's not quite ready, but we're going to pretend like it is for the show. So, y'all don't have to be on here forever. And then I'll finish up supper in a minute. y'all does that look good this is streaming so I have no idea what kind of picture y'all have I'm hoping wait a minute I know y'all don't want to see it like that sorry 
doing my best. There we go. And this is all I'm tasting because I'm going to show you my chicken and my Hoppin' John on a different video. And I tell you what's good too is cornbread with Hoppin' John. But since I've got tomatoes with bread and rice, I didn't do cornbread tonight. Okay? I think I'm hoping y'all will be able to see me eat. And it won't be too boring. And I don't want to get burnt trying this for y'all. So I've got to let it cool just a minute. We were watching a show. Me and Chris watched this show. It's a guy that's over in England. And he bought himself a little skinny boat. And he travels in the canals all over the place. And we just love that little show. And, um... I like to watch what he eats because he eats a lot of things that are different than what we eat. He stops in those little towns and he gets treats and it's just a cool little thing to watch. I wish I knew the name of it. Um, that's my dishwasher beeping. I can't do nothing about it. Uh, but anyway, if I think of the name of it, I'll put it in the top of the post. How's that? Or I'll look it up for y'all and tell y'all what the name of it is. If you're bored at home and you ain't got nothing to do, y'all watch all my videos. <laughs> But if you get tired of watching my videos, then maybe you can watch him because it's some pretty scenery. Mmm. That really is delicious. I'm not kidding. And you can use canned tomatoes. There's nothing wrong with using a can of tomatoes to make this. And the bread is just really good underneath it. Um, I can see why people used to eat this. People had plenty of tomatoes left from their garden. It was, they always had bread on hand and onion. So it was something simple to make as a side for your family. And it's healthy. Tomatoes are healthy. Mmm. -hmm. That's plum delicious. When we were growing up, Mama would open a can of tomatoes, no kidding, and take soda crackers and crush them and throw them in the tomatoes, mix it up, and eat it for lunch. That's what my Mama would do. We ate a lot of crazy stuff like that. We ate pineapple sandwiches. We ate banana sandwiches. We ate vein of sausages. Um, Amy's friend was over here the other day, and I popped open a can of vein of sausages to eat for lunch and I asked her did she want one and she said I've never tasted one and I said oh they're good and Amy said mama we like them because we were raised eating them but it's an acquired taste and and Keisha said I don't think I want to taste that and so but anyway we just eat everything we eat stuff like that from where I'm from I hope y'all have a blessed night I'll be posting the baked sugar baked chicken and the Hoppin' John soon. Um, y'all are going to get overloaded with videos because y'all are stuck at home. I got to cook. May as well show it to you. And so get ready. If you get tired of watching them, just don't watch them. But don't unsubscribe, please. And please hit the like button. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook stew tomatoes. Some people call these breaded tomatoes, I think, but boy, it's good. I'll give y'all a peek at the chicken one more time. Oh, y'all can't see it good. Since some of y'all didn't get to see it, I'll let y'all see it. We're having a good supper. 